We are at Masada, site of one of Herod's fortifications, although he never used it here in the land of Judea. This is where the zealots came like in 70 AD to fight the Romans because it was so fortified. The Roman army, Vespasian, uh, to develop a siege ramp to go up to Masada to overtake the place. And we're hiking up that giant, giant ramp. It's going to be intense, but amazing. Amazing. Masada. The Romans all built this by hand. All the way up to the top. This is the hiking line. That's where we started. That's where we're going. All the way up there. Hey, Chris. Yeah. Tell the camera how miserably hot it is. Well, it's hard to describe the the gates of hell, but uh, now I know a little bit of what they're like, and that's why I'm so glad that I know Jesus. Amen. <laughs> Eternal security, best thing. I'd say if you put your car in Georgia in the heat on the hottest day of summer, then got in your car, black car and then black leather seats. Black leather seats. Then turned your heat on high. That would still not be as hot as it is now. Maybe if you put yourself in a dryer on high, spun it around, and put a hair dryer to your eyes while you're walking, that might be about what it feels like right now. Any other thoughts? It's good, babe. I concur. I Grace? Like it. Ditto. But it's fun. That big, big camp that you see over there, and they told you there were eight. You're not going to keep from the camp. Get close to the edge, you know, whether to be able to see it. So the Pent Legion so over there. Now, I told you that they had water supply. Let's go back to the time of Herod, when this was under Herod, and when Herod preferred the place for himself. It doesn't rain here, so how do you get water? Well, again, flash floods. When it this rains in Jerusalem and Bethlehem over there, the elevation difference is 2,700 feet above sea level. Down there. That's Jerusalem, 1,250 below sea level, uh, sea level approximately. That the Dead Sea are about 3,000 feet. And so the floods from the mountains on their way to the Dead Sea were captured by the architects of King Herod. We don't know today exactly what was the shape it's the northern of the palace. Mountain, but we know for sure Overlooking. that King architects carved the mount the palace, sorry, into the mountain in three levels. And again, understand back then no computers, no cranes, no machines. We're talking talking hammers and chisels. And yet they accomplished this. This was the northern the palace in Masada. The first palace of Herod was on the other side of Masada, known as the Western Palace. But at one point, he decided to leave the palace over there and move it here simply because... This is a huge cistern. <laughs> Not at all. Not at all. Um, this is a very large system. We haven't found anything like this in Africa. Um, it's the same basic principle. It's cut out of rock. It's nice and cool. It's subterranean. The walls are crossed from time to be. This is sort of like the cistern that uh, those people who were over here who see mass slaughter and self-slaughter, I guess, uh, would have hidden when they heard the Romans being like dubs. The trees, the vines, everything. This was really a beautiful place. They will only see what's left, but that's 2,000 years after. 2,000 years after. Okay. I'm going to go and put me to the bottom. All right, fine. Hey, listen, folks. We got We're checking out Harris bathhouses. Original frescoes on there. Tile on the floor. Good tile. This has been the first room, which would have been the tepidarium. This is the bathhouse. This is the beginning of the bathhouse, yes.
It's the tepidarium. Each room has a different temperature. It goes from loop to hot, and the final one's cold. This is the hot tub. Those little holes in there. There was a fire pumped in here to heat the floor and heat the Are walls. Are you kidding me? And it would have had water. Okay, so we're gonna talk about that. Leaving Masada. This is what we have leaving. Dead Sea, the ruins, the Israeli flag, and the pledge that Masada will never fall, and even nation will always stand. It's beautiful. Hiking down. Hiking down Masada. As you can tell, we are heading back towards the Salt Sea. Steve's right in front of me. This is the ancient snake path that soldiers, people coming to visit the Haru Herod's palace would come down. You can see it's all the way down there and it snakes all the way down there and continues all the way down there.